The long-awaited Polaris chip is AMD's answer to Nvidia's Pascal. Does the RX 380 stand a chance in the fight against the good old GTX 1060? Let's find out! The XFX RX 480 GTR Black Edition measures 28cm, so it's far from being compact. The GPU is clocked at 1338MHz and is cooled by a large heatsink fan contraption. Interesting fact, the fans can be easily detached and replaced with ones that are white, blue or red LED lit. The back of the card is covered entirely by a solid backplate and the longer outer edge features an illuminated company logo. 8 gigs of GDDR5 memory is clocked at 8000 MHz. The card draws 150 watts of power and it requires direct connection to a power supply via 8 pin cable. The card has three DisplayPort 1.4 connectors, an HDMI 2.0B connector, and a DLDVID connector. The GDR Black Edition has been designed for PC enthusiasts, and so it features dual BIOS for hardcore overclockers. RX 480 was tested with an Intel Core i5-6500 CPU with 8GB of RAM on the ASRock H110M ITX motherboard. All that packed in a 7 liters Dr. Zomber Sentry case. Running 3D Mark, the total power draw was around 290 watts. Despite very harsh conditions, the card was behaving surprisingly well, both noise and temperature wise. So, how fast is it? In DirectX 11 titles, it was a bit slower than the GTX 1060 in every resolution. Things do change a little when switching to the DirectX 12. RX 480 scores better in 3D Mark and in Gears of War 4, but only in 1080p. At higher resolutions, Gears of War run faster on Nvidia's Pascal chip. What about overclocking? We're dealing with an enthusiast unit after all. Well, I was completely out of luck here. Even the slightest increase in either the core or the memory frequency resulted in throttling soon after launching 3D Mark. I'm pretty sure that the claustrophobic case that this card barely fit in has very much to do with that. So what's the verdict? Costing a little more than some of the GTX 1060s, the XFX RX 480 is something worth considering. With further adoption of DirectX 12 by the industry, it will be an obvious choice at least for those who don't mind the higher TDP. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.